Hello friends, today let's solve distribute coins in binary tree. We are given a root of a binary tree with n nodes, where each node in the tree has node, dot vowel, coins, and there are n coins total. In one move, we may choose two agent, agen, adjacent nodes and move one coin from one node to another. A move may be from parent to child or from child to parent. We need to return the number of moves required to make every node have exactly one coin. Let's see the examples. In this example, the root node has three coins, and it itself needs one coin, so we move one coin to its left child, and move one coin to its right child. So in total, we have two moves. In this example, there is three coins in the left child of the root node. And uh, uh, similarly, it itself needs one coin. And then we move one coin to its parent. And also we need to move one coin to this, uh, this node. And we need uh, two moves to, in order to move one coin from here to here. So here's the same thing. If uh, there is one coin here, we keep it at it as it is. And for the two coins in this part, we move one from here to one and to zero uh, to this part. So in total, there are two moves. So how do you solve these questions? This is also a binary tree problem. So usually we can use a rec in we can solve it in a recursive way. But we we'll have we have two alternatives: pre-order traversal, in-order traversal, or post-order traversal. Which one is best for this question? I think it's post-order. Why? Because how many moves we should move here is depended on its children. So, in this example, uh, as its both its children does not uh, do not have any coin and it itself has three so we have to move one uh, to uh, both of its children so in this example one of its child uh, children has three coins so we know we can get a coin from uh, its children so as we do post order we can return something to its uh, parent so in this part we, it is zero, right? And that means we need to somehow uh, move in a coin. So that means it need to return negative one. That means it uh, have to get in a coin. Uh, the same for this coin it is zero, but it, uh, finally it should have uh, should have one coin. So that means we need to move in one coin. So uh, it is. It also needed to return a negative one to its parent. So when we uh, traverse to this node, we know both its uh, left and right child return negative one. And, and it itself has three. So three minus two, we also need to minus one because finally it itself should have one coin. So in total, this part is zero move. Uh, do not need uh, any move. But how about this negative one? We should accumulate this move to a global variable. Let me let us call it a turtle. So here is the algorithm. We do the post order, and if the node is none, we return zero. Otherwise, we return the sum of both its children and itself a minus one, because as I mentioned many times. Finally, it itself should have one coin. So for this node, both of these children actually now return zero. So zero plus zero plus zero minus one is negative one. Oh, yes, negative one. So we return negative one to the, this node. And this negative one should be accumulated to the total moves. But we do not uh, uh, care whether it's move in or move out. Because negative one, that means it needs a move in a coin. 
but uh, if it's a positive one, that means we need to move out a coin. But that does not matter. One move is uh, uh, does not have any direction. So we just uh, accumulate its abstract uh, absolute value. So it's one. Um, one accumulate to the turtle. The same for this node, both its left and right return zero, and we accumulate this zero and we minus one. So this part will also return negative one to this node. Now accumulate the absolute value of this node, which is uh, one. So in total is two. For this node, negative one plus negative one plus three minus one equal to zero. So uh, we do not accumulate uh, anymore for this two. The final result is two. Let's apply the algorithm to this example. For this node, both of these children is zero, and we accumulate uh, this three minus one is two, right? Two means it should move out two coins. So we will accumulate this two uh, to the turtle uh, variable. This is a two, and it will return two to this node. For this node, both of these children return zero. It itself is also zero. We minus one. So this node will return negative one to this node. So the right is negative one. And we uh, accumulate the absolute value of this negative one, which is one. And for this node, its children return value is two plus negative one plus zero and uh, minus one is zero. So uh, accumulate is zero. So in total, it's three. So how to understand this three? Uh, it itself, this part it itself keep one coin and it move one coin to this part, and then it move one coin to this part. That means uh, what is this two mean? And for this part, it also need to move out uh, one coin, so to this part. So in total, it's three. Okay. Uh, so uh, keep note that we need a global variable called total, and for every node, it either move coins out or move coins in. So it should have some sign, either positive or negative. OK, now let's write the code. Here is the global variable we call it a turtle. And we call a help function. And uh, finally, we return this turtle. Let's write uh, the help function. It needs to return something. So the return value is int. Then the tree node is root. Uh, what is the best case if the root equal to none? We just return zero. Otherwise, we get the left. We just keep going to left. The root dot left, and uh, int white equal to helper root dot right. And uh, for the left, we should accumulate to the turtle. So mass absolute value left. We don't care whether it's moving or move out. Turtle accumulate mass absolute value right, and finally we return the sum, which is left plus right plus root dot val minus one. And this part we fill the root. Okay. Thank you for watching. See you next time.